On the last episode of Claire Rowley's Creative Notions, I showed you how to make this adorable little snowman mug rug. So be sure, if you haven't watched that video, that you go back and check it out. What I'm going to show you now is how to make this cute little companion nap napkin to go with your holiday placemat. To do this, we're going to use two contrasting fabrics. So we have one, one fabric on this side and the other on that. Now how we got the fabrics to stay together is by using a permanent spray adhesive. That way after you wash the napkins, they're going to still be together and they won't start to pull apart from one another. Before you cut your fabrics out, you spray the large area of material and then cross the grain so you have the straighter grain going this way on one side and then that way on the other and you cross them like that. After that, you can take a template or use a ruler and measure out 10 inch squares. So it's easier to cut a bunch of napkins out of a main piece of material like that. Pretend these are little napkins that we're about to cut out of this main piece of fabric. Much easier to cut them out after the fabrics are fused together or adhered together than to try and cut 10 inch squares and spray a square and line up the corners with each other or the edges with each other. So spray the large piece of material first, then spray the other one crossing the grain, and then proceed to cut out your 10 inch squares. So that's what we have here. And then you're going to take it to the sewing machine and use my satin edge presser foot. Using in the needle and bobbin a matching 40 weight polyester thread. And I use an embroidery quality thread, so you don't want to go cheap on this. And then you take and place the presser or the fabric underneath the presser foot. Select the width of the zigzag stitch that you would like. And since this has a little bit of body to it, it can handle up to about a four and a half millimeter zigzag width if you like. So I'm going to go ahead and match it to the one I already done here, which is about a three and a half millimeter wide swing. Bring the needle down in the right swing of the zigzag stitch. Turn the nut to move the needle over until it touches the left side of the needle. Then we place the wire so it sits right off the edge of the material. And that, I, I, sometimes I go like this, pull back, just to make sure that the wire is off the fabric's edge. And then you're gonna go ahead and just start to stitch. And this is your chance to select the stitch length that you like. You can even do it while the machine is running if your machine lets you do that. But I'm going to go ahead and start at half of a millimeter, so point or 0 0.5 on my machine, and sew a little bit. And I don't like that. I like it closer, so I'm going to go down to 0 0.3 and then go ahead and begin sewing. Notice that I am not holding on to the material. I'm more ready to cradle it or hold it up should I need to because my machine is not on a cabinet or it's not able to drop into this cabinet. So I'm just kind of holding it up rather than putting my hands here and pushing it through. This is important because you want to make sure the sewing machine is the, is the one that's deciding on the length of the stitch. If you use your hands to push or pull the material through, then you can get stuck while you're sewing. Now as we sew on a corner, we're gonna go all the way to the corner and stop with the needle in the up position. Then I'm gonna back up a little bit. So back up like four or five stitches, then lift the foot, pull off, turn, place the wire so it sits off the edge of the material. Take the thread and pull it back toward the spool a little bit to pull any slack that you may have created. And now we're going to go ahead and make sure our needle is going to come down right along the edge of the stitching line that we did before. Increase your stitch length by one full stitch length. So if it was point or 0 0.4, make it a 0 0.5. And we'll go ahead and sew. And the increase of that stitch length will mean the feed dogs now will pull harder and help you get up and over the satin stitching that we sewed before. Then shorten it back to your setting that you had before. And that is how you can eliminate the risk of ever getting stuck on a corner. 
so that's what we're going to do. This takes a little while because this is a regular sewing machine. Should you ever want to make the stitching process go faster, you can use two threads to the eye of one needle, and you just thread the machine like normal, thread one thread all the way through, then thread the other thread all the way through, and you can use half or double the stitch length and still get the same coverage. So you just keep going. on our last corner, so up until you reach the end, back up, a few stitches, lift the foot, pull off the wire, turn, place the foot so it sits off the fabric's edge, increase stitch length, pull the thread back on the spool a little bit, stitches and then shorten your stitch length back down again. I'm going to go ahead and sew over where I started and that's why when we began and we were adjusting our stitch length it didn't matter because we're going to cover up that little practice area with the stitch that the stitch length the way that we chose it to be. So here I am going back over the area and now we cut that thread. So over that area as well. And now I'm going to switch to a straight stitch. Now if you like just the way it looks right there, you're fine to stop. But with the accuracy of this foot, we can add another straight stitch right along the edge of this and make a really nice look. So you adjust the wire so that your needle is going to come down right next to the stitching line. And you can even use some of your decorative top stitches or straight stitches for this as well. This time I am going to lower the needle in the corner. See, it's a lot faster on a straight stitch than a zigzag. Zoom, zoom. So you don't have to worry about not sewing straight. The foot does that, that for you. You can see it gives you this almost like an overlock, but not an overlock. Just a foot. That fits on all zigzag sewing machines. Tie a knot. And there you have a beautiful finished edge on your regular sewing machine and a cute little napkin to go with your cute little mug rug so that you can have your own little Christmas morning tea party or enjoy cocoa with the kids. I wish you and your family a blessed and most merry of holidays.